Love is stronger than pride. Reno Moko reacts as Pastor Energy apologizes to noun law graduate. Former presidential aide Reno Omokere said Pastor Paul Enetia's apology has vindicated Ayim Vera as a bona fide graduate of law. Omokere said Pastor Enetia has been his exemplary conduct, shown that love is stronger than pride. He urged politicians caught on the phone or in regular conversation doing a saying what they ought not to do about others to emulate Pastor Enetia. Former presidential aide Reno Omokere one has commended Pastor Paul Enenche of Dunamis International Gospel Center Boja for apologizing to a noun law graduate Vera Anim. Laji.ng recalls that Enenche had embarrassed Anya while she was giving testimony for graduation from the Faculty of Law, National Open University of Nigeria. Omakri said Enenche's apology has fully vindicated Anya as a bona fide graduate of law and a recipient of God's grace. He stated that this while his verified ex-handle, formerly known as Twitter, at Reno Mokri on Monday, April 15th. He added that Enenche has by his exemplary conduct shown that love is stronger than pride. His choice of words in his apology to Miss Anim also demonstrated Christ's character and was a very redemptive teachable moment. Miss Anim is now fully vindicated as a bona fide graduate of law and a recipient of God's grace, he added. Their pastor has by his exemplary conduct shown that love is stronger than pride. Omakri urged politicians to receive the anointing of honesty and make amends by apologizing and restituting for the wrongdoings. I also call on certain politicians aligned with Pastor Paul Lecher to learn courage from him. If they were caught on the phone or in regular conversation doing or saying what they ought not to do about others, they should receive the anointing of honesty and gallantry to own up to their own mistakes and make amends by apologizing and restituting. Lady rebuked by Pastor Inyenche speaks. Lady Dot Angela reported that following the embarrassing church incident, Anyan broke her silence. Okay, she broke her silence. She wrote, It is well, my sister. Now, I've been seeing something flying around the internet. I have not clicked on the news. I did not click on the news, but in that particular clip that is flying around, a lady who is a graduate of law from National Open University, Nigeria, now actually came out to give testimony but it was like she was not coherent she was not clear her english was not english if there's anything like her english her english was not clear she does not even have our nigerian english not to talk of clear you understand and you know the thing made the pastor tell her that it's a lie you understand that me i'm just this is what i'm saying i gathered this from these little comments i just read i have not really clicked on that particular video to see what happened but she came out to testify of God's goodness in her life. And, you know, it happened. Why a lot of people are bashing the lady and saying it's a lie? Because for internet, see, internet does not give you the truth again. If you're somebody who used to come outside and you are, uh, what's it called? And you are like, uh, you want to test opinion, my dear. Except the opinion you are testing, the opinion of people who has brains. Because the kind of people with the online these days are... Uh, <laughs> Some of them are moving mad, some of them are raving mad. Do you understand? So, this woman, because she was not clear and she was her English was not that clean, a lot of people saying that lie, she no go. Did. So, even Pastor Chetu came outside and embarrassed her. They now started the dragging online. It is not true. If this one happened to you, look at what will happen. This one happened to you. This one what will happen. You understand? Do you get? Now, people are coming and she's saying a lie. She's not. That if she's a credit, how she will even use practice the so called law when she never even speak? Because her English was quite not, was not okay. But me, I'm going to say this. As somebody whose stage fright has dealt with, I say it is very possible that you are very learned, you are very educated, but because you don't have public speaking skills, you don't have the confidence, you stand facing a crowd, everything you have prepared for before that very day vanishes into your head. You don't even know how to open your mouth anymore. You don't know how to do some certain pronunciations anymore. I'm telling you, midway, in the air. I said in the air. 
uh, what's it called on stage you know you know go feel remember even sometimes say your name to remember your name could be problem do you understand to remember your name self could be problem God has a way of helping people individually and collectively. She is on her way to the favorite house of God. The next time you will hear of her, she'll be, she'll be the aims of her affairs. In every situation, God has a say. Her time to be favored just arrived. Now that the pastor have apologized to the woman, please let social media stop reminding this woman about this in the future. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. If you are somebody who used to use social media opinions to, you know, to do something meaningful, my dear, well, let's hear Ah, this one's hmm. Belle Glory to God. Hmm. God. You bloody identity thief. When they caught you red handed writing articles with the name of friend, they say me, did you apologize? Can you imagine? Serious in person they talk. Reno, you are yet to comment on your stepbrother's case, Isaac or Mercury. This is almost a medicine after death because this lady's reputation, this lady's self esteem would have been battered. That is why before we even do something, I was constant to apologize. There's somebody who said, before you do waiting, go warrants make you say sorry. Think it through. Before you confront somebody in anger, think it through. Before you do anything in anger, the person will tell you, think it through. So that it will no longer become a problem for you. doesn't make sense no matter how i look at it people have battered that particular young ladies you know for a very long time she's not going to recover and it is not as easy as you butter somebody's self-esteem and you come and say eh, sorry now you know you just throw your face and say sorry and you move your way it doesn't make any sense must you use this exemplary attitude of man of god to throw stones at the golden bride of nigerian politics Yes, I actually noticed that he's talking about uh, what's it called somebody. I know the person when they talk about. I know him. I know it's random must see his comments brushes on P2B when he said caught on the phone, referring back to the build up on the twenty twenty three election campaign, alleging that P2B was caught on the phone conversing for vote with a pastor. Can't you rest, Mr. Reno, my dear? This random work when a P2B matter go by you at the end of the day. Imagine if that leader have committed suicide because of the stigma and trauma coupled with the public distress she experienced from. At the time, if not me, she's even a, she's even a free soul. If not some people, they're not going to go to that church again, no matter the apology. Because like I said, you know, on social media, she has been dragged for no just reason. If you see the kind of hateful and hurtful she has seen about that lady, whose only problem is that she gave... Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news, we say thank you. For